This is David, you're watching BTECT and welcome. This video is sponsored by Direct Mobiles. For the best mobile deals, check out directmobiles.co.uk. Every time I've been to MWC in Barcelona, one of the biggest stands there is always Nokia. They use their event to showcase a lot of upcoming technology, including their smartphone ranges, but of course with the cancellation of the event, it's been a bit harder than normal for manufacturers to get their products out there. Nokia instead were supposed to showcase their new devices in an event in London, but of course because of all the chaos that's happening at the moment, that was cancelled too. However, they have pressed ahead with their launch and now have revealed to the world four new devices, the flagship of which is the Nokia 8.3 5G. For the price of €599 Euros for a 664 gig version, going up to 649 for an 8 gig version with 128 gigs of storage, Still a lot of money for anything really, but considering that this is 5G enabled and considering the price tag of competing 5G handsets, this is a bit of a steal. It's running Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 765G processing chipset with Qualcomm's X52 5G modem. It's good for sub 6 band 5G and has an integrated category 18 LTE modem, allowing for peak data rates of 1.2 gigabits per second in LTE and 2.4 gigabits per second in sub 6 bands. It's also the first smartphone to use Qualcomm's 5G RS front end module solution. It bundles over 40 radio frequency components into one module. The idea is that as 5G develops and more frequency bands become unlocked, the Nokia 8.3 5G will still be compatible way into the future. The Snapdragon 765G is a 7 nanometer upper mid-tier chip, announced at the same time as Qualcomm's flagship 865 last year. It enables many of the features of the more expensive 865, but is scaled back and in a more affordable package. And it brings major power saving technologies and camera abilities to the Nokia 8.3. For this year's flagship, Nokia have again equipped their handsets with Zeiss Optics. An f1.9 lens covers the main 64 megapixel sensor. It also has an ultra wide angle f2.2 lens, which has a 120 degree field of view. The sensor is a specialist video sensor and has a pixel pitch of 1.4 microns, which it can effectively double when shooting in its three megapixel video mode. The last two cameras are two megapixel sensors. One is a macro lens for extreme close-ups and the other is a depth sensor to gather depth information for portrait shots. There does seem to be a lot of focus on video with this smartphone. It has a built-in Zeiss Cinema Capture and Editor camera mode, which will allow you to shoot in a 21 by nine screen format with cinematic color profiles and with the ability to add anamorphic flares to your footage. So it should make it easy to produce videos in a cinematic style, similar to the Cinema Pro app that we find in the latest flagship Xperia smartphones. That sounds really interesting to me actually, and is something that I really want to check out for myself. There's also an action cam mode. This is a 60 frame per second mode and uses the ultra wide angle lens to capture the scene where it can then crop in heavily and correct for any kind of handshake. The Nokia 8.3 5G is big. It's a 6.8 inch IPS LCD screen with 1080 by 2400 resolution and a 20 by nine screen aspect ratio. Power comes from a 4,500 milliamp power battery. So hopefully it should give us well over a day's worth of use. Of course, the new Nokia flagship will be running a totally stock version of Android 10 and promises two years of system updates and three years of security patches. Now you may or may not be a fan of stock Android, but one advantage that the Nokia phones get from the Android One program is that they are well known now for being among the most secure Android phones that you can buy. And now that Nokia has got 00 agents running around with their handsets, I can't help but wonder if this is a point that they try to get over in the movies. This is another device this year that has got a headphone jack. It does seem like they're making a bit of a comeback. It is a nice looking device overall from Nokia this year and I do love this color. That screen has got a bit of a chin at the bottom, large enough to print the Nokia logo. It might be a bit off-putting for some, but for me, it's not a complete deal breaker. The screen has got a punch hole at the top for a selfie camera. And despite that chin, I think it's a good looking thing overall, but it's quite hard to tell from here. I can't wait to get the real thing in the studio to give it the full BTEC once over. So make sure you're subscribed to BTEC and hit that notification bell so you know as soon as we post a new video. And when you're ready to buy your new phone, the best place to look is the Direct Mobile's website. Compare all of the available deals with all of the networks right there on the one website. And with 24 years of award-winning customer service, you really are in good hands. The link is in the video description below or search directmobiles.co.uk. Or if you're looking for the best tech and accessories for your new Nokia phone, check out the BTEC Amazon shop. Everything you see there is recommended by us and we update it regularly with the best tech. If you choose to buy through there, a small portion will go towards the channel. If you've bought from the BTEC Amazon shop already, then thank you so much, we really do appreciate it. And if you haven't, well, the link is in the description below.
And that's it from me. And before I go, I just want to leave you with this. If washing your hands is the most important thing you can do at the moment, then the second most important thing you can do is washing your phone. If you look at anything like me, then your phone's in your hand for most of the day. So it's just as important to clean your phone as it is to clean your hands. So make sure you do that. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. I'm David, this is BTEC.